Assalamu alaikum in this lecture we will connect role to our user now let's go to our database and click on roles we don't have any role right now so let's insert some roles here a role based security system is an approach to restricting system access to authorized users So now let's go to our code. Close all other files except the route. Here we have register route. So let's create a model for our role model. PHP artisan make model models backslash roles backslash role model so now it created our model so let's open the model file role model and here we will define our table name Our table name is roles and I usually define a primary key field here so protected primary key id Now let's go to our registered controller and use this model and in our register method Let's create an array of data. Data is equal to role model and get. So it will get all the records from the table roles. So let's pass this data to our view file. So open up this register dot and let's change our name in our controller file 
to data roles and let's change it here to data roles and we have this uh, id in value we can write slug but we will not use slug right now we will use name of the role so let's save this now we have these roles On submitting the form, let's dump our request variable, request all. Now we fill the form. And we have this data role ID 1. Let's change the role. and we have role id2 so now let's code for our role get all of this data in with variable data and then role id get the id from this data which is in role and let's echo this our role id and exit this function The role ID is 1. Now let's attach the role with our user. We will use Sentinel, find role by ID, and we can use name or slug here but as we have id so we will use id here and the id is stored in role id variable and let's assign this role id to our user Now it created user with role id1. So now let's check in database. Yes, the user id is 2 and role id is 1 because 1 is for admin and the user id is 2 admin and admin.com which is just created. We can have multiple roles of a single user. For storing multiple roles we will loop through our array as we will use multiple select option in html form and we will loop through those options here and then we will continuously attach those roles with our user Thank you for watching this lecture and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.